In this video, I will show you how you can make money with your freelance marketplace. The most common monetization models for such websites are taking a commission on every transaction that occurs on the website or charging freelancers for adding or promoting service listings. Firstly, I will show you how to take a commission from each sale. To show the whole workflow from both sides, I will switch again to the incognito mode and purchase a service as a regular user. Let's choose any of the listing categories and pick a previously added listing. Let it be this one. As you can see, here are some pricing tiers. Let's select this one and click on the Buy Now button. And here it is, a checkout page where I can enter all the billing information and make a payment. Once you fill in all the fields, click on the Place Order button. Now, let's check this order in the user's dashboard. As you can see, the order status is processing, which means that the customer made a payment and the freelancer can start working on the project. Let's go back to the freelancer's profile. Here is a newly received order. After making all the tasks, a freelancer can click on the deliver button, which means that the job is done. Next, let's go to the customer's dashboard and here is a delivered order. If everything is ok with the order, a customer can simply click on the complete button. If something is wrong with the order or there are some issues, a customer can click on the reject button or notify the website admins. I'll complete the order. That's it! Now we can check the freelancer's balance in the user dashboard. As you can see, here is the current balance and the profit is 10% and $2 lower than the revenue since the marketplace commission and fees that I have set previously were deducted. Please note that freelancers get the payment only after the order is completed. Now I would like to show you how freelancers can request payouts. During our overview of HivePress settings, I have set a minimum payout amount $100. As you can see, my balance is higher than $100, which means that I can request a payout. But before your freelancers can request payouts, you have to add at least one payout method. To do that, go to the WordPress dashboard, Payouts, Methods section. For example, I'll add PayPal, so freelancers will be able to select it in the payout request form and provide a PayPal email. Please note that these are just custom labels that help freelancers to understand the required payout credentials, so you can add any payout methods you allow here. Now, let's come back to the user's dashboard and try to request a payout. Here, freelancers will be able to set the desired amount and here they can choose a payout method. In the case at hand, freelancers can write their PayPal emails in this field. However, if you allow a single method only on your website, for example PayPal, it may be a good idea to add a custom PayPal email attribute for freelancers so they will not have to enter it every time they request a payout. Instead, they will be able to save it in their profile form. Once you finish, click on the Submit Request button. Now, as an admin, I have to accept this request. To do that, go to the WordPress dashboard, Payouts, and select a new payout request. If everything is correct, you should manually make a payment and after that mark this payout as published instead of pending. That's how it works! Keep in mind that payouts are processed manually, so it's better to mention in the site terms your schedule for processing payouts, because it will be much easier for you to process and send all the request payouts 
once a week or once a month instead of doing it every day. Most marketplaces process payouts on 15th of the following months. This always allows a delay of at least 14 days after the payout request to cover possible refunds. This will reduce the number of separate requests and transaction fees. But if you don't want to process each payout manually, you can enable and set up automatic payouts with Stripe Connect or use the direct payouts mode. Let's also check the freelancer's balance after we accepted the payout request. As you can see, the balance is lower now. That's all for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to charge freelancers for adding listings. See you in a minute.